Hi there, I'm Lisa and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I have a little Christmas project in mind today. I bought a frame, it was a really cheap frame um, from TK Maxx or it might have even been HomeSense and it was reduced to two pounds. Um, I don't particularly want the picture inside but I knew it was something I could work with so I'm going to take off the backing and using my Coco Daisy leftover bits and pieces from the November kit, I've got some papers here and some stars, some confetti stars and sticker stars and I'm going to create a little picture for Christmas. This wasn't as easy as I expected. I've taken off the backing and the back is well and truly tacked in. It's not coming off and the glass isn't the removable sort. So we're going to revert to plan B. I've taken the paper that I wanted to use, the pattern paper, I've cut it down to size and I'm actually going to stick that onto the glass, straight onto the glass. I don't didn't want the glass anyway because I want to stick a picture on here. So I'm going to stick that straight onto the glass now instead. So this has worked out now, I'm quite pleased with how this is and it's stuck nice and securely on there. Now we're going to make a Christmas tree and I'm going to use the leftover papers of my kit. Let's move these up just to one side. I'm going to trim these papers down. I want to roll them slightly so I'm going to trim them all into strips. So I've trimmed off these bits here. These reversible papers are quite handy and what I'm basically doing is rolling the paper over and I've used a pencil to help me do this because the paper is quite thick and I've got double-sided sticky tape in the middle and then I'm trimming it down to size and I'm going to build my way up into a Christmas tree. So I'm gonna do this one next. Um, I find it easier to roll the paper first. Like I said, this is quite thick paper so it's quite tricky and I'm using the paper, the pencil to roll the paper just to give me that shape first. I'm finding that a little bit easier and then putting the double-sided sticky tape down inside so that when I roll it, it sticks together. Right. Do that one next, and that one needs to be cut just very slightly smaller than the next one. And then I'm gonna continue with those. The papers are all rolled, I haven't stuck anything down yet, but that's in place, so all I need to do now is to, you've got the join there, pop the sticky, I'm going to use double sided sticky tape again, pop that along the edge and place each one firmly down on the paper underneath. They're all stuck down in place now, I think I need to pop some more sticky onto that one though. And then I'm going to use, I've got these stars left over from the kit and I'm going to place that one on the top. That I've got a quote that I want to print off and I think I'm going to use this along the bottom to pop the quote on. So let's trim that down. Just check that that will go in there. No, I need to trim that down slightly. And then I can get the quote. Better. So I've printed off my wording, my quote. It's an elf quote. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. I'm going to cut those out and pop them along the bottom there. Right, so I've stuck the quote down. I've stuck a few more of those stars and I think it's time to finish this off with some frosted lace stickles. This is like glitter glue. And I've also got here some crushed glass glitter, but obviously any glitter will do because obviously every Christmas project needs some glitter. So I'm just going to try and get this out. I'm going to run this along here randomly over so that it sparkles and also then when I sprinkle on, let's do some spots on that one, sprinkle on the glitter, it then hopefully will stick. So I'm going to do the same along here, let's run that along the edge. I really enjoy using these stickles, it's a really easy and very quick and clean way of adding some sparkle to your projects. You can get them in all kinds of colours. I will leave a link below actually so you can see where I purchased mine from and they're quite inexpensive to pick up as well. That's that. Let's add the bit 
glitter. I'm not quite sure where this will stick. Let's sprinkle it all on. Give it a bit of a shake. Actually, a lot of it's stuck. I'm rather impressed. So there we have it. The best way to, spray, to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. I'm going to pop this on my fireplace. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a really quick and easy way to make a fun project. Google fun Christmas quotes as well. I just googled elf quotes, but there's loads to find out there. And um, it's a very quick and easy way to make a very quick Christmas project. Thank you very much for joining me today. I shall see you very soon. Bye.